Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode of the show. So, um, <coughs> yeah, I got the Skullhead wine. All right, um, so, um, at the, at the day job, I talked about wine, and I don't talk, well, okay, I talk about wine a lot, but I don't necessarily talk about my website a lot, okay? Um, I don't really promote it too much uh, with the staff and even with, even with the people that come into work. Um, really just because I'm there to work. I'm not there to promote me. But the, the subject does come up from time to time. And uh, so I had an employee say, well, you know, we have homemade wine. I'm like, really? He goes, I'll bring you a bottle. I'm like, cool. And uh, I was like, can I, would you, would you care if I reviewed it? He was like, no. I'm like, all right, well, I'll, um, if you bring it by, then um, I'll try it out, check it out. And I'll do an actual review on it. So he shows up. I've had this for about a week now. He shows up and uh, he brings this flask with a skull head on it. I'm like, that's pretty damn cool. So um, uh, he tells me about the wine. So a, a couple things. There's really not a whole lot to tell you about the wine. Um, it's it's from 1995, believe it or not. So this is a what a 15, this is a, what a 10, heck, uh, dang it, really? This is like a 17 year old wine? No. 10 years would be 95, I mean 2005, 15. Yeah, it's like a 17 year old wine. Well, 16 years old. And um, he couldn't tell me what grape it is. Said it's probably it was whatever was growing in the backyard of at, 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 on the property, not the backyard, but what was growing on the property here in Texas. So it's very, it could be an American variety. So we're, we're talking maybe Norton or Concord or some other American variety. I, I think Vidal is a hybrid, if I remember correctly. I don't know my American varietals too too well. Um, it is aged in some type of oak barrel for like five years. Now. I don't know what kind of oak, because he said it's probably, wow, look at that. I had no idea what color this was supposed to be. I was in a little, all right, so it's obviously, look at that. Look at that. I'm already excited. Um... So anyway, and then they bottle it. So check it out. All right, so I don't know if you can see. See how, like, like it looks like it's, I mean, it's a white wine. It's almost orange in color. I mean, if I was just looking at this without knowing anything about the wine, knowing that it's a white wine, I would think it's, like, 20 to 30 years old, okay? Maybe even older. Or that it's some type of um, dessert wine, um, a, not a port, but like I had a Vinsanto the other night. So something like that, you know, a, a uh, an aged, an aged uh, uh, sauterne or something like that. So really, you know, reddish brown, almost, almost uh, caramel looking. Interesting. So anyway, it's from 95. Let's check it out. Dude, for real. Okay, it, it's, it has actually, you can smell some alcohol to it. It smells oxidized. 
All right, so right off the bat, I'm thinking like like a um, not oxidized, but you've got that caramel stuff. I mean, it's I mean, it could be something like like a like a port or a, or a, or a sherry or a Madeira, something like that. But there's got a bit of oxidation to it, and it's not because I don't think it's because it was sitting in this for a week. You know, I mean. It's a decent seal, and it's in a metal container. So I don't think it's because of the metal. Put it right there. Um, but I do get hints of caramel with it. Apricot. I'm really interested to figure out what this is. All right, let's taste it. My God. Kevin, this is phenomenal stuff. This is someone who just fermented some grapes in their backyard effectively. And I think that light's starting to get dim. That, the center light's about to go out. <clears throat> anyway, um, you get caramel, toffee, almost, almost a little coffee little aspect to it. Apricots. It's smooth. It, there's alcohol to it, but it's, it's well-contained. Um... It's definitely sweet. It's got that residual sugar. Dude, if I was going to score this, which I'm going to score it, I'd give it like a 92 or 93. It's one of the highest scored wines I've ever had on the show. It's got decent acid. It's a long finish. It's medium bodied. I mean, I can taste caramel for days on this. I don't know what the alcohol percentage is, but I'm going to guess it's actually a pretty high alcohol. Um, I'm going to guess it's probably in that 14 to 15% alcohol. It might be a little bit higher. I mean, it's viscous, too. I mean, you saw it pouring out. I mean, the legs on it are just taking forever. I mean, I seriously would, would, wouldn't be surprised if this is a European grape variety. Um, there's the light. See, I knew that was about to go out. So these lights last a little over an hour. They last about an hour um, on, uh, on, these, on these batteries. So that's not too bad. I mean, I have three sets of batteries. And at least I have the more even light here. It's just I don't have the light right into me. Oh, dude, I had that light on the whole time. Oh, I wonder how that's going to affect everything. Anyway, um, actually, that might actually be good that I have the, this light on, too. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if this was more of an oxidized sauternes, that it's, it's semi-on. Um, that it's some type of semi-on grape. I mean, it's good. It's good. I can't wait to let this guy know that I really like the wine. Now I got to finish it because I got to bring this back. Um, I got to drop it off at. at uh, I say I don't even work at that location anymore, so I really got to bring it back. This is good, dude. They should freaking sell this stuff if they could. I know I'm giving it a 92. I think it's because I'm so surprised it's a homemade wine. There's a bit of harshness to it. It's not it's just the oxidation. I might have to temper that score just a little bit. 
to, to get over the fact that this is some one I got out of a flask. Let's think about it. Let's, let's say I poured it out of a bottle. I didn't know anything about it. Or it was a blind tasting. Would I still like it? Yeah. I, I'll, stick with, I'll stick with the 92 rating. It's pretty darn good. And there's that light. All right, that's my cue to finish up this episode. Um, as always, uh, there's no link for this wine because right, there's nothing to tell you about it other than it's from Texas. It was somebody's somebody's property. They made it from 95. They have made other wines. Uh, this was, they felt, the, the uh, Kevin thought this was the best of the wines. He really enjoys it. So they definitely have a decent amount of it 17 years later. Um, and, um, yeah. Friend me up. Hit the donate button. We're out of here. Deuces. <laughs>